Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord Two One Two, and I'm with Ben. What's up, Ben? Hello. And what's up, Scott? Hello, all. Okay, so there's the storyline going on called Marvel Legacy, and I've read the Marvel Legacy book, and I, I, I fell for the trap of buying some titles with Legacy in it. Okay. Now again. As much as I love Marvel to death and I love Marvel Comics, if I feel something is wrong, I'm going to point it out. And basically to me, you know, I don't really want to get distracted from this video, but Marvel Legacy, they're just putting the title Legacy on it. It really has nothing to do with anything, but they're just putting it there just to think to sell a book, which it's just a regular comic, different things happening, has nothing to do with storyline. So that being said, a couple of months from now... In February, this Marvel Legacy thing is still going on, which, again, you don't need to get every single book, by the way. But we are getting close to a milestone. We are getting close to the Amazing Spider-Man 800. So you know it's going to be the biggest thing ever on who he's going to face and what the storyline is going to be. Now, um, I have said for a while now that I think that Miss Fisto is going to pop up. The deal is going to be broken. And they're going to be back together, Peter and Mary Jane getting married. Which would mean that the entire Marvel Universe would be altered back the way it was. Which means that all this nonsense about, oh, I don't know, like Captain America being Nazi Hydra Cap and... Professor X brains getting eaten by the Red Skull and Cyclops being a villain and Iceman being gay and all this crazy stuff that's happened will be undone. Now, originally, I thought this was going to happen with Legacy, where we're going to have Thor have the hammer, Iron Man's going to be Iron Man, it's not going to be Dr. Doom, it's not going to be the kid. That didn't happen, okay? So, I just want to show something. There's a book called Damnation, and there is Mephisto, and there is Doctor Strange, who is no longer Sorcerer Supreme. Now, in case you want to know who the Sorcerer Supreme is, it's Loki, God of Mischief, is the Sorcerer Supreme. Uh, we've had stuff appear in the Spider-Man book, well, not even in Spider-Man books, in like Silver Surfer and stuff, where supposedly with the deal, Mephisto wouldn't even know he did the deal. So... The thing was that he promised Mary Jane was that he would not go after Peter Parker, Spider-Man anymore. And if he did, the deal would be broken. Well, he don't remember he had the deal. He went after him in Silver Surfer. Technically, the deal's broken. Now, the spell is still going on. So we're going to have, we have that going on with Miss Pisto. Um, He's in Doctor Strange. And... Now we're going to have something occur in Spider-Man that he's going to go to Doctor Strange and he's going to find Loki in the Sanctum Sanctorum. And this is in 795. 796, they bring Green Goblin back, restored, crazier than ever. Um, is it Norman or Harry? It's Norman Osborn. So that's going to happen. Now, my thing is that they're going to undo the deal. Now, they're going to have to if, uh, if Mephisto broke his deal. Now, we also heard they said save the date. And I think I sent it to you, Ben, right? Uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, let me check. I might have saved, sent it to you. And let me check the old messages. Yeah. <laughs> Did I send to you or I sent to Scott? Let me see. I didn't see anything. So far, no. the only thing I see is that thing I sent you about the... I didn't have anything for any comics. In the... Okay. All right. Okay, so Marvel Comics wants you to save the date, June 20th, 2018. Okay, someone's getting married in the Marvel Universe. Now, they, had a, they showed all the weddings of the Marvel Universe, and they left out, of course, 
Peter Parker, you know, Spider-Man, Mary and Mary Jane, because mm -hmm. that was altered and never happened. So it's being highly rumored that after, if Miss Fisto does appear, Amazing Spider-Man 800, that, and here's the thing, keep in mind too, they can't completely undo yeah. everything, because then Dan Slott's whole run would be erased, and nobody's going to erase their own run. So more than likely, it's going to be that Peter Parker's going to marry Mary Jane on June, June 18th, 2018, and Ms. Fisto fails. The deal wasn't broken, but Ms. Fisto fails because their love finds a way back, basically. That's, or that's what the, the only thing I can think of is going to be the biggest wedding in Marvel is going to be Peter Parker marrying Mary Jane Watson, which it's kind of difficult being that he has a girlfriend now named Mockingbird, Bobby Morris, who was Hawkeye's ex-wife. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think? You think that they're going to undo the deal or if they don't undo it, that they're going to get married or no? Keep in mind, Bendis is gone. Brian Michael Bendis is gone. And that means that Mary Jane is not contra contractually tied to Iron Man because he's the reason why Mary Jane's not in Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. And just keep in mind that now that he's gone to DC, all his stuff may change. Rue Williams being Ironheart, um, Iceman being gay. Yeah, I'm starting to think more and more. So I think gonna they're going to undo gonna a lot of stuff he's done. Mockingbird is, either Mockingbird is going to say, go with your heart, and he goes with uh, uh, Mary Jane, or she just simply... Uh, they break up, whatever. And they, yeah, and they break up. Now, um, th there's also some things I don't agree with with uh, the Marvel Universe in February. Um, I just want to find out that other thing that I had here. They got some like really ridiculous things going on that I'm like, what the hell is this? One of them is, where are you? Lockjaw, the comic book. Oh, come on. <laughs> Look at the name of the storyline. Who's a good boy part one? <laughs> good Lord. They must, well, I guess they figure she's uh, humanly bad. They and, figured and, it's horrible. Yeah, they yeah. did spin off with, uh, with a good dog. And what did I tell you that the worst thing in Marvel is when they make multiple versions of the same character? Don't I say that they do that with the Hulk, stores? Yeah. Ms. Marvel and, like, four other Ms. Marvels. Like, oh, I guess all her teenage friends or something. How stupid is that? So, again, they don't get it. They keep doing that. And the biggest thing, one of the biggest things I was laughing about with the kids, I was telling them, was, you know, they don't know how to write a storyline for the person oh, when they're in their... No. They don't write. They don't know how to write a storyline when the person's in their prime. But when they're older than dirt, yeah, they're fascinated with doing comic books. And of the person being old, like old man Logan. Yeah, it's like they they want to pick on him and just. And I don't I don't get it. Where the hell is that book now? Like, oh my god! Hold on. Where are you? I hate when I, I lose my place, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, old man Hawkeye. Oh, good lord. Can't friggin' wait, man. Who's changing the diaper? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's gonna be called, is who's changing he's got, the diaper. He's got long he's gray hair. Amazing. Looks like some like he's got a car out of Mad Max. Yeah. He's he's mad as hell and he's old and he ain't gonna take it anymore. And it's like, no. Sorry. Not feeling that. Crap my drawers. So does that I, mean the future we'll get the movie called Hawkeye? Dun dun dun. You know what, I, 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 I may be interested in this, because this is hysterical to me. They have, like, Doctor Strange is he in, in Vegas. In an alien strip club or something? He's in Vegas, but in a satanic club in Vegas. 
Oh God! Gambling to get his powers back. Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> Look at that shit. And this is the funniest thing I've ever seen. And all these things are like, you know, like, and it's like, and it's like, what happens in Vegas and everything? And, and supposedly he wins and he gets all his powers back, but there's some weird tie to like the satanic oh, or whatever. Oh, good lord. And it, you want to know an example? What Mar you want to know what Marvel Comics does when they really screw up a character and they don't know how to fix it? Let's freeze Captain America again because we don't know what to do with them now that we have two Captain Americas running around, one Hydra Cap and one Cap. So, yeah, let's freeze him and wake up in the future, and that's what we're going to do. Oh, God. There you go. Goodbye, Captain America. Goodbye. In the future, he's an ice. Screwed up. Ice, ice baby. They screwed up. And they know and they did. The death of the mighty Thor is still not dead. <laughs> Be, could be part 27 and not happen. Oh, and this other thing I'm not happy with either. Did you have to make her have be bonded with the Venom symbiote, Spider Gwen? Did you really have to do that? Gwendom is now the storyline. Oh, puns. Gotta hate them. I don't get it, man. I don't get what they're doing. Bring the Fantastic Four back already, please. Yeah, please do. Yeah, of course we got Warlock coming back. That's nice. But I mean, just bring it back. Bring him back. Yeah, bring bring back the Fantastic Four. Uh, if it means you got to give something up in order to have them, then do it. And also, in case you didn't know, they're gonna have a brand new Infinity storyline because Infinity War is coming out. Oh, and I yes, saw that trailer. That looked awesome. We know that Wolverine came back from the dead and he has a gem. So, welcome back, Wolverine. Welcome back, Wolverine. So, then he had a thing. They're like, well, if Wolverine's back, what's going to happen to old man Logan, who's in the X Men and is there basically because Wolverine's dead? Like, you know, he's not even in his own universe. And they, they were saying he's going to have a tough time. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Go back to your universe. That's basically. Yeah. We don't need to have you, and we already got the daughter of Wolverine, and we got the son from this universe and the son from that universe, so uh, peace yeah. out. We got Wolverine back. Peace out. Yeah, come on. Don't keep him around. That's what we're going to do. We're going to keep him around. It's, no, no. Go back. Stop you making got, Marvel yeah, a revolving got, door. Time, Jim, to get his happy little butt back. Send his ass back to his universe. Be done with it. Send whoever else back to their universe. Be done with it. I feel. And of course, Phoenix is coming back. Professor X is coming back. I don't know if it has anything to do with Wolverine having a gem, but if you have a gem, I'm, I bet you're bringing your friends back. Like all of them. Yeah. So why not? Which, you know, if that's the case, that would make a nice storyline, though. Wolverine just not giving a shit, and just then all of a sudden people come after him, like, yeah, you can't bring them back to life. Who said I can't? I'm going to get my own Infinity Goal. <laughs> Imagine Wolverine with the Infinity Goal it. That's crazy. So mm -hmm. I'll be very happy if Peter Parker marries Mary Jane. I'll be ecstatic. You know? That would be an awesome thing. Yeah. I actually didn't recently I found in my um Tall Tale Guardians comic that I know Marvel did a free digital copy and a free digital code of a different comic for buying their comics. So I got yeah. three of them, and I read one of them. It was uh, Punisher versus Deadpool. It was actually really funny. Oh, well, that's cool. Like, at one point in the comic, he's in Frank Says' house, and Deadpool is talking to him. He's all destroyed his shit, and Punisher's like, how did you get through my defenses? And Deadpool's like, easy. I activated them. Healing factor, hello. Wow. That's cool, man. I'm so happy if that's the case. We don't know if it's definite, but I'd be so happy. Because I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. Huge. That's huge. my favorite comic book character, Spider-Man. No a bigger Spider-Man fan than me. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> See, if I could, I even would, would make it a double wedding. If I could. Like, so like, will this wedding, will Nazis invade it? No, like, he got married, maybe so should I. No. <laughs> Uh-oh, watch out. People are going to say stuff in the videos now. You never know. Might happen. Um, 
You need this though first. Cha ching. Yeah. Um, so buy those books. But anyway, we got some Doctor Who stuff we could talk about. We'll get yeah, out of here and do Re- Re- I got I got an article that would be good. All right. We're going to get out of here and do Rehoving. So take care. Bye for now. Ciao.